Are you hoping to avoid some awkward political conversations at Thanksgiving this year? Why is it that your friends keep antagonizing the police? Why would you ask my boyfriend that? You're in luck. The 2020 census is right around the corner. I don't want to do it. So you counted 100 times. I'm Zach from Equitas Health. I know that the census doesn't sound that exciting right now, but it impacts so many funding decisions that affect all of us. I couldn't put it better myself. The census isn't controversial, so this means that you could talk about it with anyone. That includes the uncle that you try to avoid and even your friends from college. So just tell them that every 10 years, the US government takes a survey of every individual in every household in every community in America. Then they take this data to determine how much funding communities receive for programs like Medicaid, HIV emergency relief grants, housing assistance, highways, roads, bridges, and other forms of transportation. Oh, wait, so your uncle is terrified by the tyranny of free health insurance? Not for the government to tell me when to live and when to die. And for some reason, your aunt doesn't want her kids to hear the word HIV. So if you're looking to keep your conversations closer to the contents of the peach cobbler and not to the impeachment inquiry, try these conversation starters. For example, how many of you traveled here by road? How many potholes did you have to dodge to get here this afternoon? Did Grandma Sarah have to drive over a crumbling bridge on her way here? <laughs> Whatever road you choose, make sure that your relatives know if they want to drive their favorite highway without it being a total disaster, they need to complete the 2020 census. It all starts on April 1st, 2020. To learn more, Go to 2020census.gov or to equitashealth.com. And remember, we are count worthy. Really.